Well, that was ultra quick, wasn't it? And uh, the recipe is four lines as well, but it's enough. I mean, you know, to understand it. Uh, so I've got ready, I've got my cheese, I've got Gruyere, but uh, this is a nice uh, cheddar. Chopped up my onions, uh, cut up my salmon, taken the skin off. There's the skin, and actually I could fry that separately and have it as a side, couldn't I? And I've got my potatoes ready, and... Oh, where's the dish? Uh, it's in the oven because I wanted the butter to melt. Let me get this that This is out. the pan that I'm going to use. Uh, I've just put some butter in put it in the oven to soften the butter and uh, I think that's just so that it doesn't stick let's see so um, I ran out of potatoes but fortunately I had some potatoes in the fridge that I had already pre-boiled so all of the potatoes are pre-boiled what I meant was I pre-boiled them as they were I mean they are very small potatoes uh, and I did that before slicing them. I sliced them after I boiled them but while I was slicing them I could feel they are sort of 75% ready if you see what I mean. So I think they should be alright. There is liquid. I put um, 200 grams of cream on top and also the cheese. Uh, there's a layer of butter underneath. Uh, I've used the cabbage, I've used a few peas, not much but a bit. Um, but as you say, there is a difference in the time required for uh, the uh, salmon and the potatoes. So I'm heating up the oven at the moment, I haven't started yet. So uh, let's see. So I think it's nearly ready both sides. Um, I've turned the heat off because I'm not ready yet so uh, I'll just fry it for an extra 30 seconds uh, when I start to eat um, to get it back warm again.